Hello, my name is Robin Ostedt and welcome to my third video in my submarine project. Uh, this video will uh, mainly cover some uh, setbacks I've had lately um, and talk about uh, ways forward and what went wrong essentially. So uh, what was uh, what we were supposed to do uh, in this uh, part uh, was uh, to start with replace this big uh, uh, Arduino Uno card because it uh, it's unnecessarily large and it makes it very difficult to uh, get the USB cable in here uh, with the bulkheads. So uh, I figured, and also you know. Putting cables in like this is not a very good permanent solution either. Uh, they can easily get unjammed and stuff. So I uh, purchased this uh, Arduino no, uh, no, Nano clone, I think it is. Yeah, it was very cheap uh, and extremely tiny. Uh, this is essentially the same ship as on the Uno. Is the uh, I think it's the Atmega. 328p or something like that. Uh, so same capabilities, just much smaller. Uh, <clears throat> so after replacing that, I wanted to uh, put this thing into a pipe, a sewer pipe, to be specific, and. Uh, Tighten it up and seal it and get the pipe out and stuff like that. I uh, mean the tube uh, for the ballast tank and put some weight, uh, ball some static ballast in and try it out. However, there's a problem. So, as I talked about in the first or the second part, um, this uh, rod that came with it, uh, came with the motor, is too short and I needed to replace that with something else and it turns out that uh, for these uh, kind of lead screws are quite difficult to find um, like they're not traditional uh, th threads like uh, like these ones are they are traditional metric threads that fit you know the standard screws and nuts and everything uh, but uh, lead screws are a bit different. They have uh, they usually have a helix I've discovered and they have a, d a different uh, pitch distance aka uh, or a different pitch which means the distance between the threads. And so uh, finally after ordering on eBay uh, pay paying huge <laughs> well not huge but a little bit too much on uh, VAT a European tax the tax is not that high, but uh, the fee for uh, handling the tax is very high compared to the price of small parts, which is ridiculous. Uh, so I managed to get uh, this uh, with this little thing attached as well. And I thought, wow, perfect. It has the same pitch, it has the same diameter, uh, everything. So. I need it. However, there is one big problem. As someone mentioned in the comments, uh, I'll put your name here, uh, that recommended that I use what, what was called trape trapezoid, uh, trapezoid threads, yeah, uh, because it hinders uh, that it moves by itself uh, under pressure. Well, this one is a trapezoid screw uh, or thread, I don't know. However, the motor is not. It doesn't go in. Uh, so, after like months of looking around for uh, different types of screws for this motor, it's r ridiculous and like, so right now, I think the best way forward would be to, uh, instead of trying to find something that fits the motor, uh, I will instead try to work around an existing uh, lead screw, which has something that comes with it, 
and use a traditional motor, still a stepper motor probably, but um, instead of use uh, like not a motor with uh, an internal thread because then the motor has to fit the thread and it's really difficult to get it to match together because like, I don't know, if someone could find somewhere a um, five millimeter, two millimeter pitch, uh, aka or technically one millimeter pitch times two, so a helix uh, and two millimeter pitch, uh, that is not trapezoid, then it would fit my motor. And if you can link that, and preferably, you know, from the European market, that would be um, amazing. So then I, then I don't uh, have to deal with uh, customs fees and stuff like that. Um, however, uh, I'm not betting on that. So I'm gonna think of a, a different design instead. So uh, what I was thinking is essentially this. Uh, and I'm, to make it a little bit easier, I could use uh, two of these. I actually bought two of them from the beginning. Turns out that was a good idea. Uh, the other one is in the uh, prototype ballast right now, but I was thinking I could do something like this. Uh, and have a big part up here. Uh, that connects the uh, this with uh, this little screw here and just attach the uh, the motor directly with a little joint uh, which means that I don't have to worry about you know the screw fitting the motor and stuff like that it's uh, I think that would work and I could have it like this uh, it would probably fit in the tube. It should fit, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Um, however, there's another issue I've uh, thought of recently. Uh, so when this problem appeared, I started thinking about the whole design. I got a lot of like just thinking it all over how it would work. And one major problem with this, this my current design, is that as the uh, ballast mount changes over time uh, the center of gravity is shifted um, I'm not exactly sure how much this will impact it because I, uh, by my calculations if I use uh, it, this big tube that's uh, about um, like 50 60 centimeters uh, long I, I, we're, we're talking and I think uh, like 11 centimeters in diameter uh, we're talking the order of like five six kilograms of uh, displacement in total uh, and this is only 100 grams or you know so yeah how much is that um, <clears throat> a tenth uh, fifth so yeah that's like two percent if I got it correct uh, of the whole entire weight, and I, I hope that's enough to make it go up and down. And uh, but, and also since it's in the middle, you know, we're talking about shifting the mass about fifty gr uh, fifty grams uh, away from the center of gravity, <clears throat> and it could actually be significant. I'm I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we we would have to do some tests to find that out. Uh, maybe it would be worth actually trying out this prototype not that it would go into the final product uh, But just to make sure like just to see how much of a difference the, 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 the Change of center of gravity makes to the whole system like because I don't want as I go down I don't want like if it's really stable at, at the surface and then I make it go down and it starts tipping over and I don't think that like at the depth we're talking here and uh, like it's not gonna like change in density very much or like by the depth which means that like any kind of uh, problem with center of gravity will I think if I got it understood it correctly will propagate continually like it will continue falling faster um, since like one part one side might 
like uh, float comparatively or be buoyantly neutral, and the other one will sink, which means that eventually it would end up like this. That's not a good thing. And uh, I, I think, it, yeah, so uh, one, uh, another solution to that uh, could potentially be, I, I could overcome that with um, uh, rudders, not, not rudders, what, what are they called when it's, I don't know, uh, when it's like yaw, pit, I don't know. Wait, yaw is this one. Yeah, pitch, I think. Yeah. Anyway, one thing I could do is have two of them and have them in opposite directions, like this. Uh, the problem with that is that it becomes very large. Uh, so, like, very, it takes up a lot of space. And with this design, like, with the engine spinning the rod and uh, this piece being stationary, it means that I can't have it inside this because like it would like the rod would be stationary so it would be, yeah, you, you, you couldn't work like that. Which means I would have to have this on the outside and I would have to keep this whole big thing. Uh, so it would have to go like something like this. Uh, and keep it up and it would like follow it up and go down or it would probably rather be like this so if I would then have going opposite ways that is another thing is I would have to use two motors or I could use one but it would be a lot more complicated mechanics I would have to use gears and stuff like that uh, which could work uh, Gears is one of those other things that seems to be really hard to find, except you look at like eBay. I don't understand, it's so limited. Like, don't people do this in their free time? Like buying gears and motors and stuff? I thought it would be a bigger market for it, right? Anyway, <laughs> having it <laughs> opposite directions, like it, it makes it really like a lot more complex. And like, luckily I have another rod, so I could do it, uh, it's just like fully extended, like if I would have them side to side like this, like they would come out the, the same amount in each direction, which means the whole thing will be uh, quite wide, which could be okay, because I mean the, the pipe I'm working from is quite wide as well, uh, but it would like make it increasingly complex, or not complex, but uh, difficult to fit in other parts and stuff like that because I would change the, how, the whole layout. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's the update. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting for two weeks only for me to make basically no progress at all. Uh, but... Yeah, I just received these today and discovered the problem. Like I was gonna work on this this weekend, like everything I discussed earlier with the new uh, circuit board and um, like fitting it in. Uh, maybe I'll do that anyway, uh, or at the very least, like put it in the tube and try to test it out. Uh, we'll see if that's worth it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to keep you updated and. Uh, I'll start uh, probably gonna I'm probably gonna start to try to design something in the CAD, uh, see if I can get it work within the dimensions uh, that I've decided to work in. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe.